Okay, ulitin ko po. How are the brass instruments characterized? A, they made up brass, metal, or silver alloy. B, they are played by striking in the instrument. C, they are played by bowing or plucking the string. Letter D, they produce sound by strumming the string. So, kung ang sagot nyo ay letter A, then your answer is correct. Very good. Number two. Which of the following instrument is not included in a brass family? A. Cymbals. B. Tuba. C. Prince horn. And letter D. Trumpet. Ayan, may sumagot. Letter A. Kung ang sagot nyo ay letter A. Correct. Your answer is correct. Okay, let's go to number three. What instrument in the brass family is the is the biggest and has the lowest pitch? A. Prince horn. B. Trumpet. C. Tuba. D. Trombone. Ayan. Okay, may sumagot ng letter A at may sumagot ng letter C. Tingnan natin kung tama ang inyong sagot. Okay, the right answer is letter C. Very good. Next, number four. How will you describe a trumpet? A. It produces a brass, uh, brassy sound. B. It produces the high, highest pitch. And letter C. It produces a mellow sound. Letter D. It produces the lowest pitch. Yan. Kung ang sagot nyo ay A or B, tingnan natin. Okay, ang tamang sagot is letter B. Okay, number five. Which instrument in the brass section uses a side slide instead of bob? A, Prince horn, B, trombone, C, tuba, and D, trumpet. Okay, tingnan natin. Ayan, may sumagot ng letter D. Letter B. Okay, tingnan natin. Okay, kung sagot nyo ay, the answer is letter B. Okay, very good. Okay, next, let's proceed to the next one. Okay. Okay, nakikita po ba ang aking next slide, children? Opo. Okay, kung nakikita nyo, pakibasa po ang, ang instruction. Pakibasa. Identify the name of the instrument. No. Write your answer below each picture. Okay. Can you read uh, picture number one, uh, Jaren? I am the I am the down of the orchestra. Who uh, who, uh, who I am? Basun po. Basun. Tingnan natin kung tama si. Si Jerry Lan. Children, the rest, pakitay po ang sagot ninyo sa chat box kung tama, kung pareho ba kayo ng sagot ni Jerry Lan. May I see? Pakitay po sa chat box ang inyong sagot. Ala, walang nagsagot. Bakit kaya? Are you with me? Still with me, children? Oh, sagot kayo. Sumagot kayo sa chat box para hindi ako ano, hindi ako boring mag-discuss. Okay. Yung guest nyo, yung hula nyo, paki-type na lang din sa chat box, okay? Okay, sabi ni Jaril Anda, o oh, oh, ano yung sagot mo Jaril Anda ulit? Basun po. Basun. Okay, ano naman ang sa inyo? Tingnan natin kung pareho ba kayong sagot ni Jaril Anda. Okay. Children, wala pang sumagot sa chat box. Pakisagot, please. Ayan. Si Jaril Ann lang talaga ang sumagot. Narinig ko na sagot niya. 
What about the others? Okay, ayan. Sumagot na sila. Baston din daw mga sagot. Tingnan natin kung pareho kayong ng sagot sa aking sagot. Ready? Very good. Number one is baston. Okay, number two. Pakibasa po ang number two. Sir. Go. I can produce high, high feet, pitch sound who I am. Flute po. Flute daw. Okay, yung sagot ng iba, patingin. Kung flute din ba kayo? Ayan, may sumagot ng flute din. Ayan, flute din daw. Tingnan natin. Okay, the answer is flute. Okay. What about number 3, 4, 5? Pakichat ng sagot ninyo po. Okay, number three. Anong sagot sa number three? I am the most uh, expressive in the family. Who am I? Obo po. Ano po? Obo. Okay, tingnan natin kung obo. Okay, very good. Number four. Clarinet po. Clarinet. Sabi ni Carla, clarinet da o tsaka... Ni Lihar, so tingnan natin. Very good. The last one. Piccolo. Ayan, sabi ni, ni Rafael at saka ni Aizen, Piccolo. Tingnan natin. At saka sabi ni Lihar, so Piccolo. Very good. Tama ang inyong mga sagot. Okay, next. Wait lang ha. Okay, so proceed to the next one. Okay, ano po ang nakikita niyo sa larawan? Tumutugtog po. Tumutugtog ng ano? Okay, ano po ang nakikita? In what particular occasion can we see this kind of band perform? So, sa, ang nakikita niyong larawan ay isang banda. So, saan sila nag-perform kadalasan? In the festival po. Okay, kadalasan sa festival. Ano pa? Sa ano festival. ba yung festival? Kailan ba nagaganap yung festival? Kailan nagaganap yung festival, children? Anong okasyon? February po. O yan, kadalasan sa mga piyesta, no? Sa Cebu naman, yan ay uh, marami kang maririnig na ganyan sa Cebu pag January. Kasi lalo na sa mga sinulog-sinulog, no? Okay, do you feel excited when you hear the sound of this band coming? Yes. Do you also go out of your house to witness their performance? Yeah. Siyempre, sino ba namang hindi mapapalabas at mapapa-excite para tingnan kung saan yung tunog nila, no? And then, okay, can you name some instrument that you you see in this band? Okay, tingnan nyo nga yung larawan, anong mga instrument ang nakikita nyo pong hawak nila? Trumpet, trombone, French, French horn, tu tuba. Ayan, so nakikita nyo pala yan. Do you want also to learn how to play with them, with this? Yes. Why? Bakit gusto mo matuto o maglaro, mag, mag-play nito? Because I, think because I think helps to strong breath, breathing exercise. Okay. okay, very good. It is a good... For breathing exercise. Kasi tingnan mo, di ba? Breathing exercise. Sa at the same time, ano to eh, parang you are uh, inaaliyon nyo ang mga manunood. 
very good. So, tama yung sagot ni Jaril Ann. Okay? So, next. Okay, meron tayo dito ang mga tinatawag na uh, halimbawa ng ito, wait lang. Nagalaw ko ang aking slide. Wait, wait lang ha. Okay, brass instrument. Okay, brass instrument are made up of either brass, metal, or silver, silver alloy. Sounds are produced by blowing air from the mouthpiece. Different tones are also produced either by sliding or by pressing the valves. Okay pa? So, and for, we have here the brass family. One, two, four. One, we have trumpet. Two, we have trombone. C, we have her, prince horn. And number four, we have tuba. So, anong pagkakaiba ng apat? Okay, who would like to read number one? Yeah. Sir, Go, trumpet. The trumpet is the smallest and has the highest pitch in the brass family. It is played by by blowing air in in its cup shape, mouthpiece, and pressing the valves to change the pitch. Okay, very good. What about number two? Who would like to read the trombone? Sir. Trombone. The trombone has a pitch that is a little lower than the trumpet. It produces brassy sound when blow when blown from this mouthpiece. It is the only sliding instrument that ships pitch in any key. Very good. Okay, number three, and Denise. French horn. The French horn has long length of tubing coiled into a circular shape with place into a bell at the end. It produces a mellow sound and is played by blowing air in, into its funnel sheet mouthpiece. Okay, very good. What about number four? Sir. Oh, go, Jaril. Ah, si Jalin mo na, Jalin. 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 Go, Jalin. The tuba. The tuba is the biggest and that has the lowest pitch in the brass family. Sound is produced by vibrating lips into its cup-shaped mouthpiece. Okay, very good. So, those are the brass family. Okay. Maliwanag po ba yun, children? Opo. Okay. Lahat sila binoblow through our through the mouth and with uh talk nito with the slide or pressing any parts which is the valve of this instrument. Okay pa? Okay. Again, can can you read? Sige nga sino pwedeng magbasa, pwedeng sabay-sabay what is brass instrument? Go. Instruments are made up of brass, metal, or silver alloy. Sounds are produced by blowing air from the mouthpiece. Different tones are also produced either by sliding or by pressing the valve. The trumpet, tuba, and trombone are some of the brass instruments of the orchestra. Okay, very good. So, lagi natin tandaan, ang mga brass instrument, they are made of metal or silver alloys. Okay. Okay. Uh, paano ito ginagamit? It is uh, blowing air from the mouthpiece. Okay po? Okay. Meron din, meron din siyang pinipress o ini-slide para mag-produce ng different type of sound sa so, so, Sa, sa instrument na yan. Okay. Tandaan nyo po yung apa. Trumpet, trombone, trench horn, ha, atra, uh, tuba. Yan po ang instrument under ng brass instrument. Okay. Maliwanag po ba, children? Opo. 
Okay. Meron sana ako ipipresent sa inyo saglit lang ha. May present lang ako. Okay. Ipipresent ko lang to sa inyo. Nakikita po ba? Opo. Nakikita Opo. po ba po siya? Ayan po, sige. It's time to talk time about to the talk loud about and, and, shiny and shiny section, section of the orchestra. Of the orchestra. Yes? yes, it's the brass, it's the brass section. section. As with the woodwinds, the brass family depends upon the lips to start the sound. But unlike the woodwind family, all of the brass mouthpieces are basically the same in concept. They just come in a lot of different sizes depending on the instrument. Let's start with the most recognizable brass instrument, the trumpet, which is usually the highest brass instrument heard in the orchestra. It's very majestic. Quite often you'll hear the trumpet playing, playing music, that music that is a regal or royal sound. <laughs> Quite a contrast from the first selection we listened to, and listening to both shows the versatility of the trumpet. You may have noticed that the trumpet has only three vowels. So how in the world do they play all of those notes? Well, all brass players have to know how to tighten their lips, alter their tongue position, increase or decrease their airflow to increase those three or four vowels, or the slide, as in the case of the trombone, into many possibilities of notes. I think it's pretty awesome. Here's another question. Have you ever heard a trumpet that sounds like this? How in the world is the trumpet making that funky sound? Well, the player is using special tongue effects and something called a mute, which is basically a plug you put in the bell of the trumpet. That's a major obstruction to the airflow, and it makes a huge difference in the sound. There are a lot of different types of mutes to get a lot of interesting sounds, and they're not just limited to trumpets. As with the piccolo in the woodwind section, you can you can see how this basically extends the higher end of the trumpet's range. Now let's take a look at this picture. Can you tell what this is? You might think it's another kind of trumpet, but you would be wrong. What is it? It's a cornet. You might think this is a trumpet if you see it by itself, but when you put it up next to the trumpet, you can see it's more compact and has more twists and turns. What is less obvious is the shaping of the bore. The cornet has a conical. Okay. So children, marami yan sila kasi lang ang pinaka binigay ko lang na sample sa na yung apat. Okay po? So uh, yun ang pinaka eh, ano lang, ang pinaka focus natin yung apat na example ng brass instrument. Maliwanag po ba children? Apa sa. Okay, let's proceed to our next lesson. Okay. Uh, let's go to our new art. Okay. So our topic for the art is basic concept and principles. Okay po? 
Okay, let us have your chat box ulit. Kindly uh, type your answer at the chat box for the question and answer. Ready na po ba? nagi echo Ah, oh, sige, sige. Okay, pasensya. nagi echo ba? Oh, sige, sige. Next. Oh, sige. Okay, next na tayo. Okay. Um, pakitype po sa chat ba kang yung sagot? Okay, question number one. A type of balance in which both sides of composition are balanced yet different. What is the answer? Sir, wala po sa screen. Ah, wala. Sorry, sorry. Wait lang. Wait. Yung video pa rin. Wait lang. Wait lang. Nailipat ko pala. Okay. So, ayan. Nakikita na po ba, children? Apo. Okay. Okay. A type of balance in which both sides of a composition are balanced yet different. What is the answer? A. Asymmetrical. B. Radial. C. Symmetrical. D. Geographic. Geometrical. Okay. Ang sagot nila ay letter C. Tingnan natin kung tama. The answer is letter A. Asymmetrical. Question number two. Which of the following is another word for center of interest? A. Value. B. Emphasis. C. Unity. And letter D. Balance. Okay. Ayan. Very good. Ang sagot ay letter B. Tingnan natin. Okay. Tingnan natin kung ang sagot nyo ay letter B. Then, the answer is correct. Center of interest is emphasis. Okay. Next. Number three. What is the side doing lines? Shapes or colors are repeat, repeated over and over in a planned way in taking photographs. A. Focal point. B. Unity. C. Pattern. And letter D. Balance. Yeah, may sumagot ng letter C. Letter C daw. Tingnan natin. Over and over. We will sabihin. Letter C. Pattern. Very good. Okay, next. What principle of art is visible when two elements of the shoot oppose each other? For instance, dark versus light or cool versus warm. Okay. Sino to si... Sige, admit kita ha. Si Crazy. Sino yun si Crazy? Okay. Next. Next. A, emphasis, B, contrast, C, unity, D, movement. Sige nga, anong sagot? Ang sagot nila ay letter B. Tingnan natin kung tama. The answer is letter B. Okay. Contrast. Okay, number five. In photography, movement is a principle that refers to how, to how the viewer looks at the photo and what fat what path do their eyes take? What kind of simple composition technique can be applied to achieve this? A. Framing. B. Leading lines. C. Roll of thirds. And D. Space. Okay, yan. May mga sagot na letter B. So the answer is, tingnan natin. The answer is letter B. Leading, leading lines. Okay, very good. Okay, next. Okay. Um, when you see the, the picture, children, nakikita Opo. niyo po ba yung mga larawan? One to five, okay? Opo. Who can guess number one? What is the answer number one? Line po. Line. Line, sabi. Okay, tingnan natin. Sabi ni Denise, ni Jarrell Ann, at saka ni... Clarice, line daw. Tingnan natin. Very good. Tama. What about number two? Contrast po. Sige nga. Kung pare-pareto ng sagot. Contrast daw. Wait lang. Tingnan natin kung 
Tama kayo. The answer is contrast. Very good. What about the third one? Shape. Shape po. Sigurado kayo. Shape. Tingnan natin. No, it's form. Tandaan nyo ha, it's form. Okay, number four. Sir, shape. Number empathy. four, shape. Emphasis. Okay, ting sabi ni Jaril Ann, emphasis daw. Bakit mo nasabing emphasis yan, Jaril Ann? Alin dyan ang naka-emphasize? Jaril, Jaril Ann. Yung star po. Yung star. Very good. Your answer is correct. Number five. Okay, number five is... Space po. Space. Space. Sabi ni Aysen, ni Denise, at saka ni Jaril Ann. Space daw. Bakit yung nasabing Space. Kasi tingnan nyo, oh, ang lawak ng background, di ba? So, the answer is space. So, very good. Alam nyo na, alam nyo na talaga yung ating uh, tinatawag na elements of the art. Elements and principle, rather, na? Okay? So, let's proceed. Okay? Kindly read for the... Uh, nakikita nyo ba ang picture? Apo. Okay, what can you say about the picture? What are the elements of art being shown? Ano ba nakikita nyo? May mga elements bang nakaka na nagagamit dyan? Apo. Okay, very good. So, lahat ng elements pwede dyan. Okay. So, what is photography? Photography, the science, art, application of practice of creating durable images by recording light or other electromagnetic radiation by Wikipedia. So, vision, imagination, or seeing, yan po ang um, explanation ng photog photography. Okay po? So, A photo, a photograph can be either a positive or negative image. Most photographs are created using a camera, which uses lens to focus and objects visible with lens, the lights reflected or em emitted from it into a reproduction on light sensitive surface of what a human eye would see 